So for this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to stretch a felt hood over a wooden hat block, like this. And you're gonna need your felt hood. You'll, you will need some metal push pins. Um, they have to be metal, otherwise they'll break. And you need your tack hammer, as well as some twill tape and a heat source. So some kind of hot steam. So I have a handheld garment steamer, which works really well. It's just a miniature version of the steamer that you would use um, for wardrobe to steam costumes. So I have my steamer going and I'm just sitting the, the felt hood on top of the steamer while the heat is going. I just don't want to knock this over, otherwise it'll spill. So I'm going to carefully try to heat up all of this this felt hood. And you, you want it to get really hot and kind of soft. So the, the water of the steam will really saturate the whole hood. And just, you kind of just let it sit over it. Be careful not to steam or burn yourself. And this will probably take, I don't know, maybe five minutes or so. It should really start to get um, moisture on the outside of the hood just from coming from the inside up. So it's been about three or four minutes and I'm just like basically leaving the hood on top of the steamer. And you just wanna rotate it every once in a while so that the steam kind of saturates the hat evenly. And I'm not worried too much about the, the part that would be the brim right now. I'm just worried about the crown because this part we're going to really stretch over the hat form. And this part we can reheat and steam to kind of stretch over the brim as we go. So it's pretty close to being done. I'm just going to give it maybe another minute and then start stretching. So now I have my, my felt is totally soaked in the crown part of the hat and I'm putting it over my hat block and I want to stretch it down. I'm going to kind of pull right at the base of where the crown would be and you're going to turn your hat block and pull the felt as you go. And you're trying to do this evenly and that's why I'm kind of rotating it as I go. And what I'm trying to do is stretch it until the bubbles of the top of this felt hood start to stretch over the wood and then it becomes the same shape. It takes a lot of elbow grease <laughs> to really pull it down. So I'm getting closer. This is almost flat. I'm just gonna keep going a little, little more. And I'm, I might take a little more steam. I, I just turned the steamer back on. So I'm just gonna carefully put a little steam right at the top of the crown to kind of smooth it out. As you work, the, the felt hood will start to cool down so that you have to continue to add the seam to help stretch it. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is take my twill tape and I really want it at the base, base of this hood and it's not quite there. So what I'm gonna have to do is, see, here's where the curve is and it needs to be all the way down to here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the steam on the outside now. Let's turn it off. I, I might have to add a little water. Okay, I got some more steam, some more water in my steamer. And I'm just gonna focus on getting that heat right at the base of the crown. And I wanna keep moving as I go so that the felt stays warm enough by the time I get back around. So by adding the steam, you're making the felt more pliable and you can stretch it into the shape you want it to be in. It also helps to hold the shape of the felt so that heat really sets in the shape when you put it into the wool like this. You can see it's already starting to go down into that shape that I wanted it to go. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna take my tool tape and try to tie it at the very base of that crown. And I'm gonna tie a knot around the back. So you could tie it into a bow or you could tie it into a knot, whatever is easiest for you to untie. And I'm gonna kind of push the tool tape down around that again, tighten it, and then I'm just gonna tie a knot. Okay, so the tool tape is helping to hold this hat down. And what I want to do is start taking my push pins and you can start in the front, the side and the center back. So you always want to divide your hat evenly and then we can go in between those points to then put more push pins. So I'm going to make sure it, this tool tapes all the way down, pushing against where the brim is. I'm going to place it and tack it. Okay, so you're going to hammer it in. Sorry, it's loud. Um, and then, so pull, stretch that felt, and then I'm gonna push that twill tape down. And hammer that in. Okay. And then you're gonna go between the two points halfway and then halfway between those two points. So that's quartering. What we've done is quartered the hat, so we divided it into four, and then we take that quarter and divide that in half, and then we divide that in half. Okay, so that is complete. It's all the way around stretched really tight on top of the crown of the wood block. Now you see that the, oh, this is gonna be a tough one because the, the hat doesn't quite finish. You can see it's not quite at the edge of this brim. So I can't make the, the brim of the hat as wide as the brim of this hat block, but that's okay. I just need to, what I need to do now is steam this part of the, Rim, and then stretch it as far as I can to the edge and then I'm going to hammer push pins along the edge to hold that flat. So I finished my hat. Um, you could see it's completely stretched around all the way. I've put push pins all the way around. Okay, and you want to make sure at this point that you just let the whole thing dry. You want the felt to be completely dry before you take it off the hat block. When you take it off the hat block, you can take out all the push pins and the tie, and then you're going to mark the edge where you want it cut, and then you can trim that down.